Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's been just under a week since we announced the launch of AMAU Academy, your brand new virtual hub for learning Islam online. And since then, we've received a number of questions relating to the different programs we're offering, wondering how they work. So we thought it would be useful to record a quick FAQ video where we have an opportunity to answer the most commonly asked questions. Most of the questions we've received have been relating to the Student of Knowledge program. So I'm going to leave those answers until the end of this video. If those are the questions you're interested in, then you can have a look at the timestamps in the YouTube description box below or even the progress bar and have a look at the YouTube chapters. And you can feel free to skip ahead to any question that you might want to see the answer for in advance. Starting with the more generic questions, I think the most popular question we've been asked so far is can we share our access with family members? The answer to this question is yes. We don't want to make things unnecessarily difficult for you and your family. So if it's easier for one person in the family to sign up and then share the subscription with the rest of the family members, then that's absolutely fine with us. In fact, I'd even go further and say, may Allah Azza wa Jal reward everybody who asked this question because we live in a time where people just share things without asking permission. And therefore, anybody who had the piety and the taqwa to actually ask us this question, may Allah reward you. And our answer is yes, that's absolutely fine. Having said that, we do recommend that for anybody who's signing up to the Student of Knowledge program, even if you live in the same household as someone else who signed up, then we do highly recommend for each person to have their individual subscription. And the reason for that is because with your own profile, you can actually take your own quizzes, monitor your own progress, take your own exams, and of course receive your own certificates, all of which I'll be talking about later on in this video, inshallah. Do I need to pay for each program separately? So the way it works on AMU Academy is that we have three programs we're offering. The self-development program, the Arabic program, and the student of knowledge program. Anybody who signs up to the self-development program will only have access to the self-development program. Anybody who signs up to Arabic with AMAU will have access to both the self-development program and Arabic with AMAU. And anybody who signs up to the Student of Knowledge program will have complete access to the entire site. And therefore they can benefit from the self-development program, Arabic with AMAU, and the Student of Knowledge program. Will you provide resources? For the self-development program, then every single course has its own set of PDF notes, which have been turned into a mini book for you to read and benefit from. At the end of that mini book, you can also click a link and take a short multiple choice quiz to test your knowledge. As for the Arabic program, then you'll be provided with vocabulary flashcards, quizzes, and learning resources. And finally, for the Student of Knowledge program, we'll also be providing you with learning materials. But for this program, we expect our students to take their own notes. Of course, also as part of this program, you'll have access to exams, which you'll need to take before you can progress to the next stage of your learning. What can I do if I can't afford to sign up? There's a sponsorship option for those who genuinely can't afford the subscription fees. And for this, all you need to do is go to the home page and scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page where you'll see a button called Request Sponsorship. Having said that, we can't guarantee that everybody who applies for a sponsorship will be granted one. It all depends on the number of sponsors coming forward who want to sponsor a student. When will the annual offer end? So right now, as many of you have seen, we've got a 50% discount for anybody who pays the annual fee upfront as opposed to the monthly fee on an ongoing basis. The answer to this question is honestly, we don't know. We haven't set an exact date for when this offer might end. So we advise people to take advantage of it as soon as they possibly can. How can I change my plan? It's quite a simple process if you decided to change the plan that you've subscribed to. You can simply go to my account, then billing, then change plan. Your subscription will be automatically updated to reflect the new plan that you've chosen. Will I miss anything if I join late? All of our programs are self-paced programs and therefore if anybody is seeing this video in the future and it's many, many months after we've even launched the Academy, it's not a problem at all. As soon as you sign up, you'll receive access to all of the videos and all of the lessons that have taken place before you joined. And therefore, you can catch up in your own time whenever you wish. We've intentionally made it like this to make it as flexible as possible because we understand that people have different time commitments and different availabilities throughout the week. 
Are there any age limitations? All of our programs are open to both adults and children. However, it's worth noting that they have been primarily targeted to adults. That doesn't mean children can't benefit, but it does mean that maybe they might find some of the knowledge a bit more complex. I'd also advise that if you're not aware, we have a dedicated junior platform called www.amaujunior.com. And this kind of content on that platform is more tailored to children, specifically around the ages of seven to 19. I'm now gonna move on to the more specific questions we've had relating to the Student of Knowledge program. And before I begin, I'd like to say, welcome, O students of knowledge. Welcome, O seekers of the inheritance of the prophets. Because when the Prophet وسلم, passed away, he didn't leave behind money to be inherited. He left behind knowledge. The same knowledge that you, Ayyuhal Muslim in the 21st century, sitting behind your laptop or your mobile phone screen, is seeking today. And that indeed is a great favor of Allah that He has bestowed upon you. Some of what I'm going to say here is already recorded in the first video available on the portal by Ustad Muhammad Tim Humbul. But inshallah, there's no harm in a bit of repetition. The most common question we've had so far, because our students are so eager, they've already watched all of the videos that are available on the portal, is what do I do next? The month of September is designed to get you prepared both mentally and spiritually for this lifelong journey of seeking knowledge with AMAU. And therefore, during this month of September, you'll have access to a new video every single day. And during this month, the focus is primarily going to be on learning more about the program, the structure of the syllabus, the etiquettes of seeking knowledge, and even the manners of the student of knowledge. Also, my personal advice during this month is for you to get organized. Take a look at your schedule, cut out things that are unnecessary, and start planning for this journey of seeking knowledge with AMAU. When will the program start? The official curriculum will begin after the month of September on Saturday, the 1st of October, inshallah. And I'm mentioning dates, and that's only for the people who have signed up during this week period where we've launched the Academy. But if you're watching this video in the future, like I said before, it's not a problem. All of the videos will be recorded and available on the portal whenever you sign up. So it shouldn't put you off or hinder you from seeking knowledge with AMAU. You can still sign up to AMAU Academy and benefit from all of the lessons. Is it self-paced or live? The Student of Knowledge program is a self-paced program where lessons are going to be available for you to watch on the portal in your own time. We decided to make this program as flexible as possible, which means that even if you're in the middle of something and you only have half an hour free, you can watch part of the lesson and pause it and come back to it later. The entire program is extremely flexible and I'm going to be explaining more about the flexibility later on in this video, inshallah. We do, however, have a live element, which is the Q&A sessions. We're aware that obviously students might have questions that they need to ask their teachers, and therefore we factored that into the program. Again, I'm gonna be talking about those sessions later on in this video. Do I have to know Arabic? It's not a requirement that you know the Arabic language or you're fluent in Arabic to benefit from the Student of Knowledge program. In fact, you can be a complete beginner in seeking knowledge and still benefit from the Student of Knowledge program. Not to forget that by signing up to the Student of Knowledge program, you get free access to Arabic with AMAU. And we encourage our students of knowledge to take part in that program so they can increase their level of Arabic proficiency at the same time while they're seeking knowledge in English. How is the curriculum structured? Our curriculum is broken down into seven different study pathways. And each pathway has a collection of different Islamic sciences and subjects that sit underneath them. The first pathway is Al-Aqeedah wa Usuluddin, Aqeedah and the fundamentals of the religion. And this is taught by Ustad Muhammad Tim Humble. The second pathway is Al-Fiqh wa Usuluhu, Fiqh and its principles. And this pathway is taught by Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan. The third pathway is Al-Tafsir wa Ulum Al-Quran, Tafsir and the sciences of the Quran. And this one is also taught by Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan. The fourth pathway is Al-Hadith wa Ulumu, Hadith and its sciences. And this pathway is taught by Ustad Muhammad Tim Humble. The fifth pathway is a Sirah wa Tariq, Sirah and History. And this pathway is taught by Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan. The sixth pathway is Ulumul Lugha wal Mantiq, Sciences of Language and Logic. And this one is also taught by Ustad Abdurrahman Hassan. And finally, the seventh and final pathway 
is a talbiyatul islamiya islamic etiquette and personal development which is taught by ustad muhammad tim humble each of these pathways have been broken down into different levels we have an introductory level we have a beginner's level we have an intermediate level and we have an advanced level and within each of these levels you're also going to learn a number of different books primarily classical books especially when you look at the beginner intermediate and advanced level the introductory level we have relied on some more contemporary books and some researches that have been put together but as soon as a student passes the introductory level our curriculum is relying heavily on classical works from the past for more details on the entire syllabus and to have a look at all of the books that we plan to teach bi'idhnillah al-kareem you can download our official prospectus if you're watching this on youtube then you can find that prospectus in the link in the description box below if you're watching this on amau academy as a signed user then you can have a look below this video on the resources tab and you should be able to download it there and if you're watching this on amau academy as a non-signed in user then you need to head over to the from the home page to programs then the student of knowledge program and you can scroll down towards the bottom of the page and you can download our prospectus there it's a very comprehensive curriculum and we've designed that intentionally we want to take our students on a journey of seeking knowledge like we said at the start this is a lifetime journey of seeking knowledge it's not a one year program or a five year program or even a 10 year program bi idhnillah al kareem this is for students who want to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave at the same time we understand that there might be many beginner students of knowledge and that's why we've broken down our pathways into different levels you can start right from the very beginning and we want to take you on a journey of where you gradually progress in your studies and you gradually increase in your knowledge and your comprehension how much time do i need to commit so we have seven different pathways one for each day of the week so every day of the week you'll receive access to a brand new lesson on your portal and the way it work is that inshallah every single day of the week will be dedicated to a different pathway so as an example on saturday the 1st of october and again i'm mentioning dates but if anybody's watching this video in the future they can still sign up because they'll receive access to all of the videos that are available on the portal but on the first day of the curriculum saturday the 1st of october bi idhnillah we will release the first lesson of al aqidah wa usul din and on sunday the 2nd of october we will release the first lesson of al fiqh wa usuluhu and on monday the 3rd of october we will release the first lesson of at tafsir wa ulum al quran and that's how the week will progress until we complete all seven pathways and then the week will restart and again we'll release the aqidah lesson 2 on saturday and on sunday you'll have your next lesson for al fiqh and on monday you'll have your next lesson for at tafsir etc now what that means is that every single day you'll receive access to what is approximately a 2 hour lesson some lessons might be a little bit shorter might be an hour and a half might even be an hour some of them might even be a little bit longer than that maybe 2 and a half hours it shouldn't put you off though because like i said before it's a self paced program so you don't even need to consume the lesson all in one go if you feel like your attention span only lasts for half an hour or 45 minutes you can pause the lesson and come back at a later date 2 hour lessons every single day means that for the person who is studying all seven pathways they're going to have access to approximately 14 hours of content every single week and those 14 hours is only lesson time which means as a student of knowledge you should be spending an equal amount of time outside of the lesson if not more in order to clean up your notes to memorize to revise to memorize the quran to learn the arabic language to do some supplementary reading etc so this is a full time program for the person who wants it to be a full time program what do i mean by that i mean the person who wants a full to be a full time student of knowledge and has 35 to 40 hours a week they can dedicate to seeking knowledge they have the option to take all seven pathways and benefit from the entire program now many people might be watching that thinking i can't do that i've got work commitments i've got family commitments and that's absolutely fine the program has been designed to be as flexible as possible which means that you have the option to choose however many pathways you wish to study if you choose to study one pathway for example then you'll only have lesson time of 2 hours per week and outside of that you might be spending 4 to 5 hours in total of seeking knowledge with AMU if you have a bit more time than that you can choose to study two pathways and have 4 hours of lesson time every single week and approximately 8 to 9 hours 
of seeking knowledge time with AMAU across the week in total. Or you can choose to study three pathways and have six hours of lesson time in the week or 12 to 13 hours of total seeking knowledge time across the week. It's really, really flexible and we've intentionally designed it to be like that because we're aware that everybody has different levels of time commitment that they're able to put towards seeking knowledge and we didn't want to exclude anyone from that. The only condition we mandate is that you have to begin with the Aqidah pathway because that subject is of course the most important subject. So if you're only going to do one pathway, it has to be Al-Aqidah wa Usuluddin. If however you're doing two pathways, then you can start on the Aqidah pathway and you can also start on another pathway at the same time. You don't have to finish the Aqidah pathway before you can start another. You can start two at the same time or three at the same time or four at the same time as long as the Aqidah pathway is one of those options. Also, if you can only commit to one pathway right now, it doesn't mean that you'll lose access to all of the other pathways. Those lessons are still going to be dropped on your portal and you will have access to the entire program, which means that perhaps in the future, Allah Azza wa Jal might decree that you have more time in your schedule, in which case you can take on another pathway. Or you might decide to get to a certain level in, in one pathway, for example, the beginner's level, before you start another pathway and get to the beginner's level in that. And then you start another pathway and you get to the beginner's level in that. Ultimately, it's entirely up to you. It's an entirely self-paced program designed to be as flexible as possible. And that means that the full-time student and the part-time student both have an equal opportunity of completing the program. It just means that the part-time student will take longer than the full-time student. How can I ask questions? So it's natural for any student of knowledge when they embark on a journey of seeking knowledge that they're going to have questions that are going to come to their mind that they're going to require answers for. And therefore, we've got three different ways for you to ask your questions. Number one, you can leave a comment asking your question at the bottom of each lesson. And if you do that, it's ideal to timestamp the part of the video that you're struggling to understand. Number two, you can send an email to helpdesk at amauacademy.com, which will forward on to our teachers. And number three, if you want to ask our teachers directly, then you'll have the opportunity to do so via two monthly Q&A drop-in sessions. Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan will be holding a monthly Q&A drop-in session on the second Sunday of every month. And Ustad Tim Humble will be holding a monthly Q&A drop-in session on the fourth Sunday of every single month. So depending on the pathway you're studying and depending on the teacher who's been teaching you, you can attend both of those drop-in sessions and ask those questions to the relevant teacher. It doesn't matter which level you're at, whether it's a beginner's level or an intermediate level or an introductory level, it doesn't matter which subject you're studying, as long as you go to the right teacher, you can ask your question and bi-idhnillahi, our teacher will answer it for you. It's also worth noting that for now, we've scheduled those monthly Q&A sessions to be occurring twice every single month, if need be, and if the demand arises, depending on the number of students who have good questions, we can even increase that so you actually have a drop-in session every single week. Are your courses accredited? As of now, we don't have any official accreditation assigned to our courses or even the Student of Knowledge program as a whole. Having said that, we are going to offer official e-certificates from AMAU whenever a student completes an entire pathway. Are the classes segregated? So as I mentioned before, this is a self-paced course which you'll watch from the comfort of your own home. And therefore, there's no need to segregate any classes because everybody will be watching the lessons individually. Having said that, we also do have Q&A drop-in sessions as I mentioned in my previous answer. And those drop-in sessions will be mixed between both brothers and sisters. However, as a rule that we always have in AMAU, sisters will need to type their questions via the chat box and no videos will be allowed to be shared from both the brothers or the sister side. Do I need any prior knowledge? The AMAU Student of Knowledge program is designed for all students of knowledge. Whether you have some prior knowledge in advance to joining the program or you're a complete beginner student of knowledge. Having said that, the beginner student of knowledge will need to be extremely dedicated, work hard and be committed to the program. And of course, most importantly, be continuously seeking the help and the assistance from Allah. This is a very comprehensive curriculum that as far as we're aware, has never been taught in the English language. In fact, from the limited research that Allah allowed us to do, we haven't really found anything close to what we're trying to do with this curriculum in the English language. Now that doesn't mean it hasn't been done. Perhaps we just didn't find it. Perhaps other people are doing it. And if they are, we'd love to know. But as far as we're aware from the research that we conducted, this comprehensive syllabus is not being taught to this level 
anywhere in the English language. So be committed. And the students that will really benefit are those that will still be with us after five years. As with any course where seeking knowledge is involved, it's always tempting to sign up at the start. And there's many people who join the program from the beginning, but very few stick with the program. And very few are still on the program after five years or even 10 years. But those are the students that really benefit. So make sure that you're one of them. What else should I be doing? So as I mentioned, the month of September is entirely designed to gear you up for this lifetime program of Seeking Knowledge with AMAU. So definitely benefit from the new videos that are going to be released on the portal every single day. At the same time, as I mentioned before, try and look at your schedule so you can free up some time for the actual start of the curriculum, which will be on the 1st of October, inshallah. And also, as a member of the Student of Knowledge program, you get full access to the entire academy. So you can take advantage of the self-development programs and the Arabic with AMAU course. So if you ever feel like you have spare time, particularly in this opening month, then feel free to take advantage of the rest of the academy. I hope these questions have helped answer some of the queries that we've received from people who have either signed up to the program already or are interested in signing up. And I ask Allah to make all of our students of knowledge real students of knowledge. Students of knowledge who are seeking knowledge for the true purpose of seeking knowledge, which is of course to implement the knowledge and to get closer to Allah. If you have any outstanding questions that you really want answering that I haven't been able to answer on this video, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below and bi-idhnillahi we'll do our best to respond to you and to answer them. That's what Allah Azza wa Jal made easy for me to mention on this video. Until next time, fi amanillahi. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.